Oh, hello, folk. Um, what I'm going to show you today is just one uh, security setting in G Suite, which um, I'm not sure how much it's actually used, but it's um, a very important one. And if you haven't played around with it or considered um, setting it up, then I would strongly recommend it from the point of view of a compliance of things like GDPR but also in terms of the security of your users and the security of the information in your domain. So if you go into the security tab in your G Suite admin console, down at the bottom, you've got G Suite API permissions. And this is where you can control what APIs, apps, and extensions and applications that you might have on iOS or Android or web applications can and can't use. Um, by default, any user can approve any app or any application to access any part of their G Suite account, which is a potentially scary situation. So if you click on this, you can take control. And I'll just illustrate this by doing one. So we've got Gmail, Drive, Calendar, Contacts, Admin, Vault, and then more recently they've added Google Cloud Platform. So for example, let's say I want to stop anybody um, adding a extension or an app or anything that can read Vault that I don't want to have um, approved automatically. So I can just click on Disable there. Click on save here, and yes, I want to do that. It gives you a warning. And now if the only people who've got access to Vault are a couple of people in the school. So in reality, it's not a big deal for Vault, but I'm just illustrating the point that this would prevent it happening. Where it's probably much bigger deal is things like Drive, Gmail, Calendar, and Contacts. And uh, there's lots and lots of apps that users may have that you click on it to sign in with Google and it then will want you to access, I don't know, your mail or your calendar or whatever. In order to work, it might be something malicious that's trying to grab a, and automate sending out loads of spam messages. It might be an app that's um, just not a secure place for your data to be. So clicking on this disable will prevent anything but whitelisted um, API access to your domain accounts. Down at the bottom, you can click Trust Domain Own Apps. And down at the bottom here, it does say that if you have whitelisted apps at G Suite Marketplace, Android whitelist, iOS whitelist settings pages, then those apps will be automatically trusted. So the ones that you deploy via the admin console are trusted anyways. So you don't need to worry about having to go back and whitelist those. It's other things you probably want to be a little bit more worried about. So for example, if I go into um, Drive, before you click on the disable thing, you need to look at what apps your users are using and then decide which are appropriate and which aren't appropriate. So you need to whitelist the ones that you still want people to be able to use and the ones that you don't whitelist, they will cease to be able to use straight away, pretty much. So I click on Drive. It's quite a high number here. And uh, when I did this a while ago, then there was a whole load of apps on there that a lot of people have been using. Um, and some of them I didn't want them using and weren't appropriate. Um, and basically, we just cut them out. Um, they just stopped using them overnight, really. So you can see some of the ones which you've got here, things like Apara, Google Drive, Plugin, Screencastify, WeVideo, Flat, Lucid Charts, and so on, which is sort of the stuff that we've uh, whitelisted. So before you turn this setting on, what you want to do is go down this list, and it could be a very long list. That certainly was for me. And then you click on there. And if you want to whitelist it, you just simply click on trust and that's it. Um, and then it ends up in the trusted list, which you can click on here. And um, 
this is the list of trusted apps, Apara up at the top there. And you can choose what you trust and what you don't trust. That's up to you and your internal policies or whatever you want to trust. Um, and once you've actually gone through that whitelisting process, uh, if we go back to security, and we just go back down to G Suite API permissions, then you can hit the disable button. For Drive and Gmail, it's got this optional bit here. So disable all access or disable only high risk access. I just go for all access and then just whitelist what we want people to be able to use. So um, that's it really. The thing to be a bit cautious of is the to just going through very thoroughly what you use and you will find that you probably miss things in which case your users will get a little box where they'd normally be agreeing to drive permissions, read, drive, write, drive, whatever it might be, and they'll get a box saying, this is blocked. But down at the bottom here, you've got the option to add a message, and that will explain to your users what they need to do about it. Now it just simply says, get in touch with IT support, and send us the little bit of information that's at the bottom of the box, and that's got the information you need to be able to whitelist and also check out the app. So if you want to whitelist an app, let's pick a calendar this time. And if we go into Trusted, and you click on the big yellow plus button, you can select the type of app. If it's a web application, you'll need the OAuth2 client ID. And that's in the piece of information that the end user gets when it's blocked. And if they copy that bit of text to you and send it to you, you get that. Obviously, check out the app before you approve it. If it's an Android app, you can literally search the Play Store and uh, you can do the same thing. You can uh, search the Android app, Scott, uh, sorry, the um, Apple App Store for the app and you can approve it. So it's really easy to approve apps and really quick. Um, so it's not a problem, and it's much better to whitelist than it is to just be free and easy with your data. Um, I'd also say this goes for whitelisting um, extensions in Chrome, and also, obviously, that's what you do with Android apps anyways. So hopefully that um, gives you an insight into that bottom setting in the um, security tab in the G Suite admin console. If you've never sort of explored it, that's what it does.